And welcome back, everyone, to another Hot Toys review. And this time, we're going to be reviewing the Hot Toys Captain America figure from the Captain America: The First Avenger movie, the first appearance of Captain America. So, I really like the shine that this box has. I love the artwork, as per usual. You got a Captain America's name and a description underneath, and it's a really cool cover art of the figure himself. And then you have a first look at the Captain America figure. This one is multi-layered, as I guess some older Hot Toys figures are. They have this protective outer cover, and then they got another cover over it. Now, this is a figure I've been wanting to get for quite a long time. I could never decide which Captain America figure to get. There's so many, but I have to say the first costume I really like. Uh, I've said this. I'm a broken record. I've said this so many times, but I prefer more realistic versions of character designs and costumes like I, I think it's so cool when uh when you take a combo character and you find creative ways to make it realistic in the modern world and find kind of excuses you know like this being different uniform pieces kind of like finding excuses to make those iconic parts of the costume in real life and so that's why this is one of my favorite versions of captain america i like the costume i also would like to get the version of this costume from captain america winter soldier because it has a stripe down the middle but that one's a bit too pricey for me so far, uh, what, what I've seen on eBay and stuff. So I might hold off on that one for a while. But I, I found a good deal on this one, so that's why I ended up picking it up. But not only do you have this, but you also have another set of accessories on the bottom section. And I got lucky to find one where the shield wasn't flaking. That was good. All right, here we have all the accessories for the Captain America First Avenger figure. Starting off with, uh, well, disclaimer, I do not know gun names or weapon names, so I'm literally just going to use the most general terms. I'm just going to call this a uh, machine gun because that's what it looks like to me. What I noticed about older Hot Toys figures is there's a lot more weathering on the weapons and accessories. What I love about this is you have silver uh, chipping away at the paint on the gun, which makes it look far more realistic. I love that. I love how they have that. You can see it up on the top as well. And right there on the clip. And the clip, of course, as you'd expect, is removable. It has a painted bullet, which is awesome. I'm glad they always do that. Got a metallic look, makes it look very real. And it just slides back in like so. And another thing is this cocks back. So that's a cool detail. It gets kind of stuck on the back part, but is functional and then another thing i did not expect with this figure is that you can actually pull the sights up which is really awesome that's some nice functionality you can look down the sights and all that stuff so that is really cool it actually goes back farther but that would be the standard look for that so that's really cool to expect then the strap is adjustable as you can see with these metal clip things whatever you call them here and so that's nice and then you have the pistol which has some really good weathering as well. You got some silver chipping away at the paint, which makes it look like it's made of metal. The, unfortunately, this pistol does not cock back like most Hot Toys weapons would. There's no trigger here, and the hammer does not go back either. Uh, maybe because it's an older figure. I don't know. That's just my guess. The clip, though, does come out, so that's nice. The bullet isn't painted as metallic. It's not as noticeable as the rifle or, or machine gun, but still a really cool touch that they added. And then you have the shield. Now with the shield, yours might look different than mine. I got lucky and I got one that wasn't paint chipped. These tend to paint chip after a while. The paint just starts coming off, so that's unfortunate. So what I did right away is I put two clear protective coatings over it, and hopefully that will keep the paint on. I don't know. Only time will tell. So mine might look slightly different because you see this weird kind of like grainy like texture that's probably from that clear coat i put on and then some damage kind of got done when i was putting the coat on unfortunately but i don't mind it too much because it's it's a war world war ii battle damage shield let's just say that and then on the back you have the rubber straps i believe and they look kind of fragile so i'd be careful about how you put when you ever you put this on the figure looks like these plastic bits here might break it just feels kind of fragile um, of course, I would prefer Magnetic, like the Age of Ultron figure. That'd be the one reason I'd probably get that figure, actually. Um, moving on to the hands. First off, you have two closed fist hands, as you would expect with any Hot Toys figure. 
You got some nice details. Um, they look like gloves, just like they, you would expect them to. You got wrinkles and all of the things you'd expect. And you have a closed fist hand looking like it could hold the pistol. And the same on this hand as well. Now, I find it interesting that like with this hand, for example, this is obviously meant to hold the machine gun or the pistol. And could probably use this hand for that as well. Well, maybe not this one, but where is it? This one. Um, and I noticed it's interesting that I don't know if it's because of controversy or what, but back then, but when this was released, you tell me, but it's interesting how they don't have any hand sculpts that are actually with the finger on the trigger. So I don't know why that is. I know other newer hot toys figures have that. So I don't know. Y'all let me know. I, it might not be anything, but I just noticed that with this figure and thought it was interesting. Uh, we got next, nice texture on these jazz hands and then the last thing is the stand which is just a normal stand it has a hook thing i don't know what it's somewhere around here didn't have time to look for it but yeah nothing really special about this stand just kind of a throwaway stand to be honest and here you have captain america in full form starting with the head so the head sculpt only one head sculpt with this one looks pretty good um, for an older figure i say that a lot this looks really good actually i there's some nice texture work, paint work. It's intricate. It's a nice, interesting like feeling to this plastic. I don't know what it is, but it's really cool. And the head sculpt, I mean, it's hard to say whether the likeness is there because you can't really see much of the face. So, I mean, my first impression is to say, yeah, you know, that looks like Chris Evans, I guess. It looks like Steve Rogers from the movie. Um, is it the best ever compared to the others? Probably not. Uh, maybe there's some likeness that could be improved hard to for me it's hard to tell because you can't really see much of the face so but yeah i think it looks like chris evans that's just me personally and i love that look at that look how the mask isn't even touching the it's hard to tell on camera but the mask is actually lifted above underneath the eyes that's some really great detail well i should say helmet but that's really cool that then you have the strap and this isn't this is just like plastic right here and then from then onward, you got different material fabrics. This is actually hard. I don't, it's a hard piece right here. I don't know what that is. I guess to keep the shape of the shoulders. So yeah, we got plastic here, mixed media. Looks really cool. Before you had the Avengers icon on the shoulder. And then you have this, which is kind of a separate piece. We can't move it too much. Functional strap, it looks like. Like if you wanted to adjust it, you probably could. All these buttons here which are clued on they didn't include extras on this one as far as i know but i bought this on ebay used so who knows maybe there was some you tell me but you have the belt which is movable this is actually die cast that's really cool i like that so it's always a pleasant surprise when you find a die cast piece on a hot toast figure especially ones you don't expect it on like this and this is die cast yeah it feels like die cast so does this so that's really cool and then the back part of this, this is also die cast. That is awesome. I did not expect that. Uh, I can't tell if that comes apart. I don't think it does. This part is die cast as well. Man, I just, I really wish Hot Toys would do more die cast like this. It's like their newer figures. I don't know. It, it seems like the older figures just have more, like, higher quality. Y'all tell me, I've only just started collecting the past two years, but... For me, it seems like the older figures have higher quality and more accessories to them. But I don't know. I could be wrong on that. That's just on the figures I have so far. So you got some nice wrinkles, which I love. That's cool. It makes the costume look more rugged, more real, gritty. You know, I like y'all guys know by now that I like that stuff. Uh, the club is this is a separate gauntlet rubber sculpted, sculpted uh, strap here. And y'all have seen the hands already. So same old stuff there. You got pants. Functional looks like. I think this is a Velcro. Yep, that's Velcro. Uh, pockets are not functional. I don't think they're supposed to be pockets, actually. But for a second there, it looked like it. This pistol holster is functional. Looks like it says United States on there. That's cool. You got this piece here. So there's a lot of functionality. You got some metal pieces, rings, it looks like. On the belt, this is probably pleather. Thankfully, it hasn't started flaking it. So you would take the revolver and put it in the in the um, holster there. 
unfortunately you know this has been used so like it doesn't stay down it's supposed to hook into that hole right there but it's been kind of torn so it doesn't want to stay anymore maybe i'll fix that later and as you can see with time this is starting to wear down a little bit and moving down you have tons of patchwork detail nice fine stitching everywhere on the boots these are sculpted rubber it feels like plastic no rubber yeah it's all rubber so that's cool you got some detail on the bottom and the back and of course you have this uh ammunition belt i'm assuming i don't know maybe that's what it is um, unfortunately this came on glued on mine so i'll probably have to glue that back at some point but yeah this is removable um, optional to put on and now on to the articulation starting with the head so the head of course you know turns 360 obviously and looks up about that far looks down about that far sideways actually pretty far farther than most figures and you know just like that and then the shoulders are kind of stiff right here but i see how far we can move them so you can move them right about to there because of this plastic piece right here and then you can yeah so that's unfortunate you can't actually move them up that much which is what you would want with uh any kind of figure with guns <laughs> so yeah that's that's kind of unfortunate um the elbow is ratcheted and you can move it about 90 degrees no farther you can move it back straight not farther back than that in terms of the chest and stomach i'll see you can move them forward not very far it's pretty stiff back yeah not not very far and twisting yeah you can actually get some articulation oh yeah you can actually get a lot i'm surprised because this is not connected to this since the pants are not connected to the chest piece you can actually move the waist pretty far you probably move it 360 but i'm not going to so so that's kind of cool actually now that i realize that you can move them back a little bit farther and then forward i didn't even realize those red straps went down that far huh. and then uh the hips you can uh let's move that arm back oh you can't move it back that's right can move the leg up about 90 degrees almost and then back a little bit the knees are not ratcheted uh they're double jointed but you can only move them back so far because the material bunches up and forward not very much at all let's see the boots you can't really move them at all like maybe up that much twist on it like turn them rotate them but you can't really do much else with that to get the shield on his arm i recommend using this hand probably you can use the other one as well but then you just take the hand off and use the largest part of the strap and then you just slide it over and then you could probably put the hand on it's kind of tricky maybe this isn't the best hand to use and that's yeah that's kind of frustrating so then you hook the hand on like that and then attach the hand back on all right so what do I think overall about this figure? I think this is a really cool figure. I was uh, hesitant to pick this up because the price, um, now that I looked at the original price, that's just kind of mind blowing how how much uh, people are charged on the aftermarket. But at the same time, I get it. It's, an, it's a limited edition, it's sold out. So it makes sense why the price is higher. Um, I don't regret buying it. I think this is a great figure. I've wanted it for a long time because this is my favorite version of that costume. I like the World War II style. I think it's so cool that Captain America was a soldier in World War II. So that's why I got this version. And I was uh, pleasantly surprised by all the die cast pieces, which I didn't expect. I was surprised at the value of the head sculpt in terms of the paintwork and the weapons. I was surprised that there is actually, you know, really good paintwork on those things. Like, the head sculpt holds up despite being an older figure. The weapons hold up better than even some newer Hot Toys weapons because there used to be more weathering and stuff. So I think that's great. In terms of everything else, I think the only negatives for me is it would have been cool to get an unmasked head sculpt. And I don't know why, maybe who knows what reasons Hot Toys didn't do one at the time. And uh, of course, now we can probably get one, I think, with the newer ones with like the Winter Soldier one, I could be wrong, I can't remember. And of course, with all the other Captain America Hot Toys figures, there's unmasked head sculpts for many of them. The other downside is the shield. It took me a good five minutes to put that on. It feels kind of fragile when you're trying to put the shield on. 
and the hands are frustrating because they just fall off kind of they, they don't they're not very secure um so i have problems with hot toys hands i guess uh, with harley quinn the hands are too hard to put on and off but with this one the hands just fall off too easily and they're not secure enough so my other complaint i mean this is a used figure so this isn't probably on hot toys but it sucks that my uh, the holster for me doesn't work anymore. It doesn't stay down. Um, the pleather hasn't deteriorated though, so that's good if that's what it is. Other downside would be the articulation actually. And now that I think about it, the shoulders, not very good articulation. You can't really do much. So and for a figure with any kind of weapons, you would expect there to be, you would want there to be good articulation to get the posing right. Uh, not for this figure. So that's, that's a bit of a letdown. The blue is probably accurate to the movie, but when you take pictures of it and kind of looking at it, I feel like the blue is too light colored, which is why I want the newer one, the newer, the Winter Soldier version. Uh, I just feel like the blue on this one is a little bit too light, like it could be a bit stronger, especially on the chest area and the shoulders. In terms of the pants, not too bad. Uh, I just, yeah, that's the only thing that kind of bothers me. Everything else I think looks great. I'm glad there's some weather on the costume too. That's really cool with the paintwork and all that. Like the white isn't just some shiny white color on the stomach. It's actually kind of a darker color with some shading on it. So that's nice. Probably a bit biased for this figure because I just like this costume more than many of the other ones. So I'm just naturally think this costume is a lot cooler. Right? So I like this Hot Toys figure more. The other ones could be better. I don't know. I haven't gotten them yet, but I don't even know if I will. Of course, another big issue that a lot of people can probably relate to is the shield flakes. The paint starts coming off the shield after a few years or something like that. Mine hasn't, so I'm lucky, and I put protective coating over it. If this was the price of a of a modern Hot Toys figure with the prices they are now, I would complain and say that a shield should not be flaking for the price you're paying for this figure. And I would almost play benefit of the doubt with the original price I saw for this when it first came out. But even still, if you're going to pay any money for something, the product should not be defective to where it starts coming apart after a few months or years. Like that's that's kind of an issue. So and, and maybe, you know, I'm sure maybe it was a trial and error type thing for them. So um, you find something that works and find something that does work. So it hasn't seemed to happen since then. So, you know, so it's a past error and let let the past be the past. But. If I were to judge this figure and the shield was all flaking apart, I would be pretty upset and I would be like, yeah, I wasted my money. This this is a big problem. Other than that, I think I think everything else is great. I like this figure. I like the options it comes with. The accessories, actually, the accessories are the reason, another huge reason why I got this figure compared to the other Hot Toys Captain America ones because this is the only Hot Toys Captain America that actually comes with guns, you know, and he's a World War II hero to me, so... For me, Captain America's got to have guns. That's just my personal opinion. So to me, that's what makes him cool. It makes him different from the other, I guess, heroes. All in all, I think it's a great figure. I was on the fence about buying it just because of the price. I don't regret it. I think this is a cool figure. Um, I just wish there was another head sculpt unmasked. But no, I like this figure. And let me know what y'all think about this figure in the comments below. I would like to hear y'all's opinions. And until next time.